<laughs> All right. All right, so now we're live. Um, just real quick introduction. Uh, my name is Jamin Rock. Um, I'm the owner operator of Portland Massage Therapy. And with me is Julie, and she'd like to introduce herself. We're going to go through some question and answers about uh, Google Plus and how to set up personal and business profiles and community pages. So, Julie? Yeah, like I'm Julie Onofrio. I have a few websites for massage therapists. One is massagepracticebuilder.com, and I've been on Facebook a lot and want to venture over to Google Plus and Jamin offered to help because I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're not you're not alone. There's a lot of people um, who who have a lot of it, it's it's completely a lot of people want to compare it to Facebook, but I, I really think it's completely other than it being a social media forum, it, it's not it's nothing like Facebook at all. But um, I've seen people who have not bothered to ask questions and have kind of really made it hard for themselves because if you don't follow Google's guidelines, uh, you actually can get yourself banned. Um, and kicked off pretty quickly, so it's really important to ask. That way, you don't get yourself in trouble. Um, so you said you had a few. <clears throat> yep. I just got the whole recording of what we're doing for some reason on a screen, <laughs> and I was oh. hearing you twice. <laughs> okay, Google. a little bit of echo. Uh, so go ahead and uh, so you had a, you had a few very specific questions about um, how to set set up community pages or whatever. Um, go ahead and. And we'll try to. I'll try to do my best to answer those as as we go along. Well, I guess I I'm figuring out what the difference between a community and a page. But why would somebody need a page actually? Um, <clears throat> so so when you say page, are you talking about a personal profile page? Or are you talking about a business page? A, a business a page, I guess. Okay. Um, so basically, from a quick a quick uh, try to answer this as quickly as possible. In no one needs a business page <clears throat> unless obviously you're trying to promote your business. Um, uh, you you cannot have a business page unless you first have a personal profile page. Um, and then your personal profile page, you then can then start a business page. Um, but a business or a individual can start a community. So it basically depends on what your focus is for using Google+. If you're just a, a person that wants to connect with other members of the community, um, that's fine. But if you're a business, then you absolutely need to set up a business um, page. And most likely, what a lot of people aren't aware of is Google probably already started one for you. Um, they also did that with personal profile pages. Um, they went ahead and anyone that was on Google Maps, <clears throat> they already have a page. You have to then go through, register it, um, get author, you know, uh, authority over it, authorship, and then you can customize it uh, and, and link everything, all your website, your blogs, everything to your business page. Well, so massage therapists are going to want a business page to be on the Google map and be on the Google business listings. Yes, absolutely. But, yeah. The one thing I see <clears throat> where I think it can get really confusing, especially um, people that are sole proprietors and they are uh, an individual, but then they don't necessarily have a business name or their their, their business is just them. Um, and I see, I see that getting... Uh, confusing where people have their their personal profile page and their business page and they look the same um, and then they use <clears throat> their business page um, for for connecting on a, on a personal level and I think that's where a lot of a lot of disconnect comes is where you're what is a business page and what is a personal page and, and how do you best use those um, the way I look at a personal page is that is that is you <clears throat> that is you as the owner and that is you're an individual person and you're reaching out and talking to other people and engaging with them. Your business page, on the other hand, is, is just your storefront. Um, it's your, it's, uh, you, would, you would put things on your business profile page. You would post to it things that are specific to your business, like you're running a sale. Um, you, have, uh, you're, you have a new modality that you're using for your massage therapist or you're, you're adding another location. Those are the kind of things you'd want to put on your business page, um, and people would go there and see that. Um, but if you are on your business page and you're and you're sharing pictures of kittens and <laughs> you know just random, more personalized things, that would actually kind of detract from your business because those are it's almost like having a Facebook page, a personal Facebook page, um, and then having your business page. That I guess that is the one of the big similarities between Google Plus and Facebook is you try to keep your personal stuff private and between you and your friends, and then your business is completely separate and that is just professional things. And that's where you set up um, what Google calls circles. 
Facebook, you have, I think you can set up different groups, but on, on Google Plus, they call them circles, and you would you would have individual circles for different audiences that you'd want to reach. So that's going to be one of my big questions is the circles because... Yes. So maybe you want to start there. Like I've gone through and I've put people in my circles. <laughs> so then it, then it gives you an option, send out a post, and you can right. pick what group of people in your circles you want to send it to. Right. But I don't get why people in my circles would want to see my stuff. I want to see people who I want to follow. You know, like these are people I put in my circles who don't know me that I found or maybe that are businesses of massage related. So maybe just go and demonstrate how the circles work or, okay. and then do a post to the circles. How about starting there? Okay, so let me see. I'll try. I haven't done this before, but I'll see if I can do a screen share. Now tell me if that if that if you're able to see my my Google Chrome page yeah. now. Okay. <clears throat> so this is my page. So this is my personal profile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um so my circles I have set up like this. I have my circles. All right. So down below here, you can see my first my first circle is friends and family. These are these are posts that um, are going to be very very personal, private matters um, or whatever, where I'm just going to be sharing with with just friends things that I'm doing with family or whatever. Then I have a massage uh, and healthcare circle, and these are people that I'm networking with <clears throat> who are in the same business line as I am. Those kind of people I'll share posts with. Articles that I've I found interesting about our profession uh, or healthcare in general. Um, I'll ask questions or like hangouts like this. You know, I might send out a, a message if if uh, any of these people in this group want to have a hangout. Um, and I this is like my, my professional circle of people that are in the massage healthcare industry that are going to have similar interests and that we'll have a good dialogue with. I have also an SEO <clears throat> circle, and I don't share a lot with this circle. Um, this circle, like you said, this is more for me to gain information from. Um, I follow some of the top SEO people in the in the nation and get um, their their shares, um, their hangouts. I watch, um, and if I do have a question that's specific to SEO work, <clears throat> especially Google Plus work, um, I'll ask this group right here. Um, yeah. I then have another circle that is made just for people in the Portland area. So if I'm going to run a special um, <clears throat> for my personal business, if I'm if I'm adding a modality or I went to a class and I and I learned something, um, sharing it with people in my SEO uh, would be kind of pointless. Um, people in the massage industry, I mean, why? You know, they, these people are all over the country. Um, they're not going to be coming in to see me. But the Portland people are going to be for advertising purposes. Um, or questions or, or following people just just in my close knit area and here in Portland, Oregon. Um, I have a business networking circle, <clears throat> and these are for the the random people that don't fall into my other any of my other categories. People from all around the world who are really active on Google that share posts that I find interesting. They may not have anything to do with my business. They may not have. Um, it, some things may not even be interesting to me, but th these are people that are, are basically just, we're networking, I might share their posts, they might share mine, um, but these are just people of interest for me. Then my other circle here is Google, <clears throat> and that is strictly things that are directly related to Google, Google+, Plus, uh, Google Maps, anything with Google announcements. Again, I'm not sharing, I'm personally not sharing anything with them, but I have them separated off so that when I'm going through my stream of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of posts. Um, if I just want to know what's going on in the Google world, I just have a, like you can see, it says 16. I only have 16 um, Google entities in this, um, and they're all they're all official Google stuff. So Google Maps, Google Earth, uh, Google Plus, Google Forum, Google yeah. Help. And those are, those, those are things, again, I'm just reading. I'm, I'm never sharing anything with them. Um, yeah. I also have a, <clears throat> a Hangout group. These are people that I've done a lot of Hangouts with. Um, it, for me, it's a streamlining thing so that I'm not every single time inviting all 374 people that I have in my massage healthcare circle. Yeah. There's about 30 people who are my core group that I would do uh, that I would do shares with uh, as far as hangouts with um, 
I mean, you probably recognize a lot of these people. These are people yeah. that I'm, I'm going to want to um, do more one-on-one -on -one, uh, contacts with. And and then I have just a couple of other miscellaneous categories. So when I'm <clears throat> when I'm making a post, I just think of who who am I who am I talking to? Am I talking to people in my area? Um, for my business, I'll go send it just to the Portland area. If it's more of a news article where I find it interesting about my industry, um, I'll probably select massage, healthcare, and Portland, um, and possibly friends and family if it's something that I think is is newsworthy enough for them to read it. I try to share things <clears throat> that I, I feel would be interesting for them to read. Um, I've noticed a lot of people just do a general share. They just have everyone in one circle. Um, and I've actually stopped following some individuals because they're they're posting things that have zero interest in me. They post way too often. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so we're back. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty with Google uh, Hangouts, so uh, we had to restart. Um, we were talking about circles, and uh, let me get back to my screen share mode. <clears throat> and we were talking about how to set up. Um, Circles, what are circles for? So going over to people, and then I'm going over to my circles. And so <clears throat> I think just to recap real quickly, so I was just talking about my different circles that I have set up and what their purpose is for. Obviously, a friends and family are more for intimate things. The massage and healthcare are for, are for things that I'm going to be sharing with individuals that are going to have the same um, interests as I do. Um, SEO circle is for mainly not for, for me to post unless I have a question, but from basically for gathering information about Google um, and how to make the most of getting my website uh, search engine optimization done. Then I have one set up for Portland, uh, just for local people in the area that might be interested in any sort of a specials I might be running or anything dealing specifically with my business, trying to, trying to promote business uh, to my business page. <clears throat> Uh, my business networking is more of a miscellaneous for people just around the world that are very, very active on Google+, Plus, that um, are very engaging. And so, again, I'm not sharing a whole lot with business people um, unless I find it a, a general article that I find of interest that, they, that people might want to follow. Um, like I was saying, I try not to post <clears throat> too much, especially to groups of people that aren't going to be interested in what I'm posting. I, I keep these all separate so that... Um, these these individuals will actually be engaged by it, um, and every time they see my post pop up, it's they they they'll know it's something that is going to be specifically aimed at them, not just a blanket post uh, of st things that are of personal nature that that would not be interesting to them. So does that does that make sense, Julie? Yeah. To, okay. Um, so here's my question though on it. Yes. So you. Like I can see, like you want to follow these people doing the SEO or whatever your topics are. You can right. set your own circles and stuff. Right. So you can go to that circle and just get to their news feed to see right. information. Or if you have a question on there, you can post a question about SEO. But are these people going to see it? Because they're these are people you chose to follow or right. put in your <laughs> circle and. Uh, right. So, so the only way they're going to see a question. Um, so, if I if I share something with them, <clears throat> um, if they are not following me back, they're not going to see it. They have to follow yeah. me back, um, and that that's again another reason why it's it's. I mean, I see people trying to. Um, they're just following anyone and everyone, um, and really, it doesn't benefit you a whole lot. <clears throat> um, if if you're following someone, um, and if you're if you're doing it only to get them to follow you back, you, um, I mean, you're, you're, I guess it's a 50-50 if, if they're going to want if you're interesting enough that they're actually going to want to follow you back. Um, like the SEO people, um, let's just go back to that. <clears throat> um, so so these are my circles. These are people that I am following because I find them interesting, and this is people that have me in their circles. <clears throat> Okay, um, and so so there's people on here who who are following me, and I not necessarily am following them back. Um, but at the same time, I'm still putting them. Um, I'm I'm probably going to put them in a category, or they're just going to read the things that I put uh, as public. So let's go to. Okay, I let's I go to profile. Okay, so I'm going to write something. 
um, new. This is. So then I'm going to go to the to section. And so it's going to be my circles. So people that people that have uh, that I've put in a circle, so like the SEO people or the or the Portland people. Now, if they are not following me back, <clears throat> they're not going to see anything. They're only going to see something if they ever either uh, have in the past followed me back, or in the future if they choose, you know, three months later, um, I'm following them and they decide they want to follow me back. And I've put them, I put them in my, say, my massage, my massage category. Um, when they do follow me back, they will immediately see the things that I have shared with them. Um, sometimes you might follow someone. <clears throat> And you'll get a little message. This person has not shared anything with you. What that means is you are not in. They have not put you in one of their circles, and they have not shared anything to public. So okay. Does that make Does that make sense? Yeah, except when I pull up that little box. Uh, to, okay, I okay. So you got to share it to public, and those people who are following you will see right. it. That's everyone, everyone saying. can see that. <clears throat> so yeah. if you're constantly sharing to public, and you never share to circles, um, then it's kind of a it's a, a, a moot point. It's not going to really change anything. Um, but for example, say I want to share something with my friends and family that I don't want the general public to to to, to see, or I don't think they're going to find interesting. Um, you know, say I had a new baby or something. That's something uh, private. Um, I'll I'll select share with friends and family only. And so, you know, Joe uh, Jane Doe goes to to my Google Plus profile and starts following me. She's only going to find things on there that I've I've selected to share with either public or with, you know, if for some reason I already have her in a circle, uh, her individual circle. Um, she's not going to see anything that I've only shared with friends and family. And that goes that goes to, true with you know same thing with SEO. If I share something with SEO, <clears throat> my SEO circle. Um, asking them a question, or, or if I'm following them and I make a comment, um, that stuff's just between me and them. That's something that I don't find would be useful to share with the, the public in general. So again, someone starts following me, um, my public profile, they're not going to see all the the technical SEO Google Plus questions that I go back and forth with with right. the people I have in that circle. So it's, it's a good way to separate people interests because really that's what Google is all about. They want to connect people with their interests. And so I highly recommend that people don't just share to public all the time, that they're very uh, specific on who they want to share stuff with. But, but, but see, this is the, the thing, I guess. If I'm, I, like, I want to, um, if I'm sharing with, if I don't share to public, people who are in my massage circles or people, uh, <laughs> People who are following me, how, how do I get my message to the people who are following me? You have to post it publicly, right? Right. Right. Unless, so, <clears throat> um, okay, so for example, let's just talk about, like, I have you in one of my circles, um, and I have you under a specific massage category, massage and healthcare. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> sometimes, I, you know, I have just too many posts. Um, I don't have time to be going through all of them. So when I go to home, and I have this long list of, of, of people all over. Right at the top of the screen, it says uh, massage and healthcare, and that will just yeah. show me. That will just show me those people. Um, yeah. You know, and so, so if you're trying to share something back, I, I don't know if you have me in, in, in a specific circle or not. Um, you know, if, if you if you post a public, since I am following you, I'm going to see it because I'm following you in general. So I'm going to see it if I have it selected over here. You know, massage healthcare. You're in my circle in massage yeah. and healthcare, so you're going to pull up every time you post something to public, or you're sharing something privately with me. It's going to show up in my massage and healthcare tab. Okay. So it's just a, it just <clears throat> sort of is hard to understand coming from Facebook because uh, <clears throat> because it's so different. And I guess where I'm coming from is like I want to be able to share information with people who are massage therapists. Because on right. Facebook, I was selling three or four of my eBooks a day on Facebook without hardly doing anything, um, or just posting 
something about SEO or some tip and and, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm getting nowhere because their news feeds have gotten so clogged with too right. many posts right. and nobody's seeing them anymore. Right. I've had to move to paying for ads, but but then so I just want to see how, figure out how to get the message to the people who want to see it. <laughs> okay. So so give okay. me some specifics. Okay. So, so you're on Google and you have an ebook that you want um, you want to sell on Google. Is that so? Let's just go right well, that. And or, I want to share my tips that I have about how to build websites and do insurance billing and build right. referral networks right. and everything okay. else about building a practice. So. Right. Okay. So first thing, just like Facebook and just like any social media, um, if if no one's following you, um, no one's going to find it. No one's going to see it. Right. So first things first. Um, back back to the, the the first basics is with Google Plus. Probably the if you have a specific market that you're trying to go go for. Um, obviously, let's say massage. <clears throat> um, this is what I would recommend. Um, you go to communities, and um, this shows the communities that I they, that I moderate uh, the massage therapy one, and then I have a local Portland um, a Portland one. So the massage therapy one right here is, is the largest. It's over 2,000 members now. Um, <clears throat> and this is where if if you're trying to find people who are active, interested in massage, you would go to the massage therapy community and just start going through the, the list here of people who are active. Um, you could go to the members area, um, which there's 2,000. I mean, in the, a lot, some of these people are completely not legit. Um, if I, I leave, I let them stay just because if they want to read something, that's fine. Uh, if you start posting something that's not appropriate, I just ban them. Um, but the best way to go about it is going through the news feeds <clears throat> for this community, and it's pretty obvious uh, which people are active and which people are interested in massage. And go yeah. through and start and start uh, following them, and then hopefully they'll follow you back. Uh, the next thing is to start posting things of interest. <clears throat> I'm not trying to necessarily sell anything because I honestly don't think um, that's what Google Plus is about. I, I know there's a lot of spammers out there, um, and they get banned really quickly because it doesn't take a whole lot for Google to, to – if you start posting stuff and your posts are always being removed, it doesn't take a whole lot for Google to finally say, okay, this person's a, a nuisance, and they just kind of block you. Um, but – what I would start doing is just is just posting articles of interest, um, things that yeah. people are, are going to, oh, hey, this person has some quality content. I'm going to follow them back. Um, not spamming, not doing it, you know, multiple times a day, but, it, you know, at least on a on a weekly basis, be putting something in, the, in, a, in this community or any community that you find. Um, I know you're in the Seattle area, <clears throat> so I don't know if there's any, you know, if, you're, if what you do is more of a local thing, then what I would do is I would go uh, up here to communities and I would search for, you know, uh, Seattle Massage, and it will pull up if there's any, you know, local communities in that area. Yeah. Um, there is one right here, um, Seattle Massage Community. Um, and so then you join that, <clears throat> share, and you you slowly start building up an audience. Um, another thing you can do, which is kind of, it's kind of a, a shortcut to just getting a general uh, large following, um, which is something that Facebook does not allow you to do. Is you go back to the the um, people, <clears throat> and for example, whoops, my circles, massage and healthcare. Um, I can take this entire circle and I can share it with you. Okay, so these are all the people that I've that I've included in my in my my idea of what a you know massage and healthcare. That I can then share this with you. <clears throat> you can automatically just with one click insert all of these people into a, a circle of your choice, and these people will be notified that you are now following them, and you have a, a high chance that they're going to follow you back. Um, that's one nice thing about Google. So if you're just getting started off and you don't know anyone and you kind of wanted to get it ahead of the curve is you find people that have quality circles that are willing to share. There are actually some communities um, that are called Google Google Plus uh, circle sharing. Um, I think that's a little extreme because, I, I mean, I know people that have 10, 12,000 followers, um, but they're people from all around the world that don't even sometimes don't even speak English. Um, to me, it doesn't really make sense to have someone following you that doesn't really, that's not really interested in what you have to offer. But if you can get into more... <clears throat> 
you know, sharing smaller circles like like this one I have, which is about 300, almost 400 people. Um, these are quality people that are that are going to be seeing your stuff and they're going to recognize your name and they're going to be interested, follow you back, and and then you know, as you have a new ebook or whatever to 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 promote, you then share that with them, and that's how that's how you would get. Um, how do you share the circle with them? Or <clears throat> um, okay, so so right underneath, so 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 here oh. I am in, um, underneath my healthcare or friends and family um, actions. Share yeah. the circle, um, and then I can type in. Oops, nope. This is plus. <laughs> oh. And then down here, I will type in Julie. There you are. And share. Okay. So now you will get all those all those people that I've included. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that I mean, to me, that that is that is a huge, especially if you if you know people that it's qual it's a quality circle. Um, <clears throat> like I said, there's a there's a lot of people who are just I don't know if it's egocentrism or whatever it is, but it's they, yeah. they like they're like having ten, twelve thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand, and that honestly doesn't do a whole lot for you unless those people are actually reading your your posts, uh, plusing it. And then resharing it. Google really doesn't care. You could have hundred thousand followers, but if no one's viewing your profile and no one's plusing it and no one's sharing it, they they don't really care. It's it's um, sharing quality content that people want to read and then reshare themselves. So is that yeah is that helpful? <clears throat> so th this to me seems so much better than Facebook, but people oh, are still not using it. This <laughs> Except when too many people start using it, will it get like Facebook, where you have, where you can't see what you want to see in your news feed and get? No, ads because remember, and... <laughs> remember, you only unless you are one of those people who are um, following uh, ten thousand people yourself. Um, again, um, oh by the way, so this is what you should be seeing right now. I shared privately with you um, in this circle, and it says add people. You click on that button, and it will pull up. All the people I just shared with you, and you can either put them into an existing circle or create a whole new circle yourself. You know, if you don't already okay. have a massage circle, you can just, you know, type it here. But since I already have a massage circle, it will pull up for me. It would be it would pull up a massage and healthcare, and I could click on that and it add it would add all these all these people into that circle. Okay. <clears throat> so there you go. Great. Um, but no, like you like you you had asked about with with Facebook getting clouded. Um, <clears throat> Again, in my in my stream, you know, this might look clouded, and there are some people in here who um, they share interesting things, but I'm not really going to spend the time reading it. I just click massage and healthcare. Yeah. And now this is just that 375 people <clears throat> that I have shared that I mean, I'm sorry, that I have that I have put in my circle, and I'm going to read their articles. Now, if if I have someone, and I which I have had uh, individual massage therapists or or businesses who just overshare. Um, things that are not of interest, um, and they're they're just kind of spamming. I will stop following them in a heartbeat because I don't have the the time or the patience to to kind of uh, go through all of their posts. Um, but if you again, another thing that's nice. <clears throat> so so if I just share something with a with with these people, it will it will show up in their in their stream right here if they followed me back. But if I but the other thing too is these little notices here in the top corner. Um, the it will give them a little notice that I've shared something with them. Now, it's possible that if I am a spammer or I just post things that are really of not interest to them, they could still keep me in their circle, but they can mute me so that they no longer get a notice whenever I share something new. But okay. if I'm only doing it once a week and it's always very you know something exciting and something that they really want to read, they're going to leave their notification on. And so when they when they log on to their to uh, Google, this little bell thing is going to be showing you have notifications and boom, you're going to see right here, oh, <clears throat> you know, Jamin Rock has shared an article with you. You click on that and it will show them that specific article or whatever I've shared with them. Yeah, there's there's multiple ways to to get people's attention. That Facebook, um, you know, personally, I feel Facebook is, is is going to be very soon. It's already heading that way, but I, I can see a full on it becoming just a friends and family social media share, 
and Google Plus taking over pretty much all the business aspect because there's so many things you can do to organize um, how how the news feed happens and what you're reading and if someone's obnoxious or you know you still like them um, you want to you you want to to see them from time to time but they're just over posting you can just mute them um, and it doesn't send them a notice <clears throat> unlike Facebook I think if you unfriend someone it's pretty obvious um, here on Google you can follow someone not follow them um, it doesn't yeah. give them any sort of notice so it's not like it's not like you can stop following someone they're going to take you know personal offense to it it's just so much more organized I think and like I think you're right actually because I actually just stopped following everybody on Facebook and I just had <laughs> my friends on Facebook because it was just too much it, you can create something called lists on Facebook yeah. which is yeah. similar to the sort of circles but I don't think people are doing it and it's still um, yeah but then you but then you don't get likes on your page so the so the whole thing is getting likes on your page so that you can advertise to those people. <laughs> right. And that's the thing. That I think that's what's happening with Facebook is it's just getting to the point where um, it's been, it was set up and now it's just kind of running running wild. And for, for the average business person who has a large following of, of devoted Facebook, uh, Facebook-ites, um, I think it's, it's still... Uh, possible. The nice thing about Google is again Google is obviously going to be more interested in what's going on on their social media. Uh, Facebook's not even um, it's not even crawled. Um, you can have fantastic results with Facebook but you're limited to Facebook only. The nice thing about Google Plus is everything in here is categorized and um, crawled by the Google bot. So um, these articles, if you post an article on Google Plus <clears throat> and it gets uh, really popular it will start showing up in the search engine results. Yeah. Um, so to me, that that is that right there uh, for a business person is is everything. Um, so that so so just real quickly, so that was the whole personal aspect of it. And as you can see, you know, I do a lot of work with my with me because to me, it's like I'm me as as an individual person. I am speaking to people. I'm doing a thing a normal person would do, even though it's virtual. Now my business end of things over here important massage therapy um, <clears throat> I do post things here not not near as much because to me it's a this is my this is my business I don't want to bombard people with with I don't want them to think of spam I don't want them so if I write a new blog right here um, on say car accident recovery I'm gonna put that on on my on my business end and then I'm going to like it um, I've plussed it as a person and then I've also shared it individually as my person with all my circles but it stays it's it's on so if anyone ever goes to my actual business um, business page they'll see the article but I'm not I'm not like spamming it it's it's here yeah. it's under my it's under my portal massage therapy business page but then as an individual I can then kind of promote it is how I look at it I've also posted here <clears throat> whenever I had other hangouts with other massage therapists or other people in the industry um, they can watch my videos um, here that I've done again promoting promoting massage especially specific Portland massage um, so that's that's the difference that I feel is between my my business page and my personal page and of course as always you go to the uh, the about section this all needs to be very well um, finished um, I've seen a lot of people that have business pages that um, half the information or more is missing um, this yeah. really needs to be completed and you also see this little here um, check mark next 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 to me verified local business again you have to go through a verification process um, Google wants to make sure that you are actually the owner yeah of this so as you can see here my, my important massage therapy I have 267 followers with 50,000 page views um, hopefully that 50,000 are, are close to it those are people in the Portland area who are looking yeah. at this not you know, some guy over in, in Dubai that's not, you know, is looking at my page for whatever reason because I've been spamming. Um, so, so to me, this is, this is, okay, this is local. You go over to my personal, my personal side. <clears throat> 
And now this is going to be substantially higher because I am communicating with people around the world um, and other other practitioners. You see, I have over 300,000 views with over uh, 1,200 followers. And so, to me, this is this is a, a I'm not I'm not trying to build up a a huge following for my Portland local business unless they're just local people looking for my business. This is more of a national level um, networking and marketing and and everything I do as an individual. Um, and so that's that's the two separate that uh, that's how I kind of separate the two entities. Um, and I don't I try to try to have a pretty pretty fine line between what I share here and what I share on my business page and what my purpose of sharing is here as opposed to my business page. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then, did you have any other questions about uh, communities, or the purpose of them? Um, I think I'm figuring that out. I I had started a community a while ago and I mm -hmm. went back to it and um, and it, I found a way to organize it and put the different categories because I have a Facebook group of massage therapists and we're talking about you know a lot everybody's asking questions about how to do this how to do that and that's mm -hmm. all good but um, but I, like my, my thing is I have a ton of information that I want to share with people and it's not getting out on Facebook anymore so yeah. with this there, I can have the different categories and people can look for what's been done already and see what questions have been done or, or post their question in the appropriate category and get yeah. more specific help I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think with the communities again um, <clears throat> I, I know there's I know Facebook has groups and it's and I think I think with that it's there's a similarity between the communities and their groups. I find the communities on Google a lot easier to find and a lot easier to moderate. Um, but again, moderation is the key. Um, unfortunately, with something new like Google, um, you have a lot of people out there that are that are spamming. Um, and you know, being a moderator at the the the, the massage therapy one here <clears throat> with 2,000 plus members. Um, you know, you always have about 10% who are who are actively putting things on here that are of interest, but staying on top of of spam is it's, yeah. a, da it's a daily process for me. I log on, I have I have notifications whenever someone posts something to this community, it notifies me, and I immediately go and check it out. Um, and especially being a massage in the massage industry, <laughs> uh, since this is a, a global thing, people can post things um, at will, and you have to be on top of it um, really quickly. Or what happens is is the people who are legit um, they get all these notifications that all these new posts are in the community. They go to these and they're all spam or things that are inappropriate or whatever, and they'll eventually just leave the community because they don't. Um, yeah. Again, there's just too much too much junk on there. So, um, but making sure you have firm guidelines. There's a uh, let's see here. There's a on uh, cursivecontent.com. There's a uh, ten do's and don'ts of Google Plus communities. I find are really good, are really good. Um, Guidelines, having having and following guidelines are huge. Um, not making all your posts about yourself. Um, you know the using using um, <clears throat> you can browse old posts, ask questions. These are all really things that are great with with uh, communities. But again, um, it's really hard. I would recommend if you have a community of anything close to a thousand that you immediately get some moderators to help um, because again, it's it's um, you got to stay yeah. on top these communities or else they kind of I've seen so many communities that started off great and they just kind of got overrun and I've quit, I've quit following most of them but there are quite a few um, massage communities some some legitimate some are not <clears throat> um, I think there's at least 10 um, but the only ones that I follow are this kind of national massage one my individual my, my local Portland one and there's also this one the massage therapy marketing tools um, wasn't your group owned by? Was that Kelly Wise is a part of that one, or is yeah, that Kelly? Um, Kelly started it, um, and then I I joined shortly thereafter. And uh, I know Kelly has a she's really busy on Facebook and really busy with her with her business. Um, and she she in her wisdom saw that the um, her massage group was growing quite rapidly, <clears throat> and she realized that she couldn't keep up on it. Um, she had too many other things um, going on, and so she asked me to be the moderator. Um, so she is. She is now. She is still the owner of it, but um, I'm the moderator. Um, and okay. she can obviously moderate too. But she she doesn't. Let me see if I can. I'll just pull it up to show you how how you can see these things. So you go to the community. 
of Sage Therapy Community. <clears throat> you go to the members and yeah, you go moderators and you'll see that it's Kelly. Kelly is the um, owner still and I'm the moderator. Um, and then you have the invited people you've invited, people you've banned. In yeah. The, um, and because so like yeah, saying, <laughs> my group on Facebook is getting it's it's actually pretty okay as far as a Facebook group goes, but it just could be more organized, I think. And, yeah. yeah. And I think Google I think Google has some really great ways of organizing. Um, you know, especially you can set up categories. So like in the massage therapy, um, I have <clears throat> There used to be a lot more categories, and I have um, streamlined it because it got it was so confusing that people were putting things everywhere because it was kind of ambiguous. Some of the so so I've just made it um, uh, either all posts, discussions, massage news and research, and marketing and self promotion. And I've had to make some clarifications on what a self promotion is. Is um, you know not that you're just going to post. Um, you know, hey, I have a, an opening tomorrow. Do you want to come in? Because again, this is a national. Um, community, or in in some instances, there's there's people from around the world, and that that kind of a post has absolutely no value at all here. Right. Um, but if you write a, an incredibly good blog, like uh, like Lou Lou here, something that she put on, <clears throat> it's not spam, it's informational. Um, she's very professional in the way she comes about it. She actually describes what it's about. She doesn't just post a link. Um, and this is something that is, while it is a self-promotion, it's not spammy, and it's beneficial to all those in the massage therapy community. So this one is a keeper. We left that one, but you know, putting, you know, people are going to put posts on things that have absolutely no value to the community. But um, and then there's the events, and the events uh, c category are whenever we have a hangout, <clears throat> I always post it um, that we're going to have a hangout, and anyone that wants to watch can watch. So. That is that is how the communities work, and you can you can actually have an open community or a closed community. Uh, closed communities are nice because if you have uh, a community that you get a lot of spammers, um, or you have people that are that are just you don't you want to keep it more cl uh, a close knit, you can just make it closed and invite only, and uh, people can then uh, would have to request and you have to approve their access to the community. So that's another nice thing about about Google. Communities, you can have an open or a closed one. Yeah. So. Good. Um, and then yeah. hangouts like we're doing now. Those are another, I think, huge thing that um, it makes the it makes a uh, the big difference between Facebook and, and Google is the ability to have hangouts like this, um, and you can again send them out to people just in your community, people just in your circles. You can have these live on air hangouts, and then it's automatically uploaded to YouTube. And it's automatically posted to Google Plus, um, so people can either watch it, ask questions. Um, you can have group conversations or just one-on-one -on -one conversations, like we're having. That's to me, that's another awesome tool that Google that Google offers. So, yeah, I think that could, it has a lot of potential. If more people would just start talking together, like yeah. some of the discussions on Facebook get so out of control and with people being nasty. <laughs> that uh, they had a real yeah, that, person face to face. They would not be saying the same things. <laughs> no, I, I, I and that's what, so. I've, I've made that comment multiple times with, uh, with um, when we were doing hangouts. Is it's, it's really, it's incredible what people will say um, that they would not, they would not normally yeah. say uh, face to face. And um, let me see. I turn this off. Um, yeah, LinkedIn too. That, that is another. It was a great. It's a great tool, and I'm. I'm. It's. It's a nice having it. But again, people get really, kind of, get a little nasty with some of the stuff. So, um, I like. I like one-on-one. -on -one. Well, good. Thanks a lot for your time. It's. Been yeah, helpful. of course. Um, and what I'd like to do is, <clears throat> we had a thing where we were at once a month, um, having a massage therapy hangout where we discuss kind of the up, the the most current topics, um. And you know stuff that's brought up either in the community or the stuff that's around around the world, um, like like the, the most recent thing we had dealing with the the Red Book magazine putting a post on about happy ending massages <laughs> that kind of yeah. went viral. Um, the uh, um, you know I would those are those are fun hangouts to have where where we can talk about those and, and get people's reaction um, that or or SEO um, SEO 
topic. So we've we've had about six of them so far, and I'd like to include you in the next one. Yeah, I'd like to do more too, actually. So and just get people talking. <laughs> right, right. So well, is that is that uh, sufficiently cover most yeah, of the questions you had? Yeah, that's a lot. I'll, okay. I'll be um, playing with it more. I'm getting it a little bit already, so it's taken me... I've tried a few times, too, and I've never got this far, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, feel free Feel free any other time if you have um, questions. Is, um, you can always send me a private message, and the private messages are... You just put... When you share, you just you just type in the one individual's person, you know, personal question, you know, personal name, and that does not go to public. So um, that's yeah. how you share things privately. So, well, fantastic. Well, it's nice finally Great. to actually talk to you in person. Um, you we've too, gone back thanks. and forth a lot in in, in in text, but it's nice to actually speak with you. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll send you a um, an invite next time we have our uh, the massage therapy community gets together, and a lot of times we have um, Lou. Uh, Lou is a big one. She likes doing those, and a couple others that are um, like Massagebook. dot com. They um, he's the former owner of Massage Warehouse. Um, him and his wife. They're a great combo to have. They're very. Uh, we have some really and then uh, really lively conversations. That and um, Benjamin McDonald too. He's a great one to have. Yeah. So mm-hmm. We'll uh, we'll try for maybe next month. Great. Sounds good. All right. Well, you have a good day, Julie. It's nice talking to you. Thanks. You too. Right. Bye bye. How do I hang up? Here I go.